Hello again, YouTube. Um, this time I'm going to do an experiment. There have been folks, uh, you know, that have, you know, sent emails and so forth requesting, you know, they want to know exactly what, uh, you know, this solar stuff can do. Um, you know, what good is it? Or, or not really what good is it, but, you know, there's some questions of, hey, okay, you get this solar thing and, okay, what, what exactly can you do with it? So I'm going to demonstrate uh, with this portable backup uh, that I made. I, you know, I saw a video on YouTube, um, you know, a while back and, you know, it started it all for me and I, you know, kind of built this little uh, portable backup system. And what it is, it's, it consists of a dolly here. This little cart is called Magna Cart. I bought that from Costco. Uh, about I think about 19 20 bucks or something like that um, this inverter here this is a uh, 1200 watt modified sine wave inverter I got that from uh, I think advanced auto parts they you know had it on sale or something and this battery box I bought it at uh, wall uh, not Walmart but uh, another auto parts store for maybe 11 bucks or so and I got a battery that I bought it's a flooded battery it's not an AGM and I got a battery, a deep cycle, 115 amp hour battery from Costco. Okay, it was like 80, 89 bucks or so. Um, I have these two terminals here. Uh, they're connected to the battery, you know, so I can, you know, put a, some a battery charger up to it if I want to charge it quickly. And I also have on the side here an InstaSpark, or InstaPark uh, charge controller. Uh, if I want to charge it up through solar. Now, I built this thing. I kind of modified. I took off the voltmeter and stuff like that because the battery uh, that I bought was a, 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 you know, a large battery. And so it took up all the space. So I had to, you know, essentially uh, modify the box or just turn it around so that I couldn't use, I can't use the uh, voltmeter. But anyway, there have been folks asking, okay, what can you do with this thing? So what I did was... You can see here, I have a compact freezer, right? I have a compact freezer, and I've actually plugged it in, okay, to the inverter, okay? As you can see here, it's running, um, or it's plugged in, rather. Okay, and I want to see just how long this box, this, this, this little portable generator that I built, Okay, um, you can see, uh, you know, the wires are hooked up and everything. Uh, it's hooked up to the battery and everything, so you, you know it's running. But I want to find out exactly how long this thing will run, okay? Um, now, I kind of hedged my bets. I just recently did a video where I made these gel packs. Okay, what I did was, you know, as opposed to the, you know, slushy kind and so forth, which... You know, uh, this one right here, I actually mixed with some alcohol in it a little bit, uh, alcohol with the soap so that it won't, you know, it has a less tendency to freeze uh, completely solid. But that's not what I was looking for, you know, with the original bags. The original intent, I kind of deep froze them and I wanted solid blocks, okay, because this is what I'm going to hedge my bets with, okay. Uh, so what I did was I made about five or six of these and I put it in the freezer, I also froze a gallon jug of water uh, and also put it in the freezer. There's two of them in there. So would, that would, you know, kind of keep things uh, at a constant temperature. Okay, the point of, uh, of all of that was simple. I wanted to hedge my bets, okay? And I wanted to do, like in an emergency situation or a situation where there's going to be a prolonged power outage, and, you know, quite frankly, you know, if it's raining or, or the, it's cloudy, we have no idea how long the solar or, you know, w until the sun really comes out so it can charge our batteries. So I wanted to see exactly how far, you know, I can push this thing. So I have a compact freezer. Okay. It's basically AC, not DC. And so I plugged it into the inverter. Okay. And now I'm just going to let it run. Now, what I also uh, did was... You know, prior to this, I actually, prior to this, I actually ran this at, you know, not at its coldest setting, but at a very, very cold setting. So whatever's in there is going to be like really, really deep frozen. OK, really deep frozen. And I do this because, well, if you're going to run this thing off of some type of generator um, during an emergency situation, 
what I would recommend, uh, well, what I'm going to do is simply turn it to its coldest setting so everything turns to, com you know, blocks of ice. Okay, and then I will scale it back. Okay, basically, you know, right here. All right, right now I've got it on two. Okay, and you know, if I really, really want it cold, then I'll turn it on four. It goes all the way up to seven. So I'll turn it on four. That means the idea is not to see how much, uh, you know, f uh, frost we could generate on the sides. It's just basically, again, with the power that you have in this device, in this generator, it's very limited, okay? It's 110 amp hours, but, you know, realistically, you're not going to get the, the full 110 amp hours. So you got to utilize the power that you have. If things are f uh, frozen solid, okay, it takes a while for things to unthaw under natural circumstance, under room temperature. Imagine how, how long it's going to take if everything is frozen solid. Um, you know, case in point, you know, try to, you know, cook a... a, a a totally frozen turkey, okay? Um, they, you know, naturally, before you fry a turkey, you need to unthaw it for maybe a day or two, okay? And that's that, you know, if you're unthawing, you know, maybe at room temperature or if you're putting it in a refrigerator or something that's not as cold, okay? But this chest or this deep freezer has everything in there is, is going to be pretty much frozen solid. Again, I'm hedging my bets, with these frozen these these packs these gel packs these are it's not water in here okay this is a uh, a solution of this one right here in particular is a solution of soap uh, liquid dish soap and alcohol i kind of you know experimented with that today but my others are just pure liquid soap okay no alcohol and they are frozen solid okay so i got it running and i'm going to let it run all day okay or and well all night to see exactly what happens. Okay? Take care, you two.